Campus Newsreel recently interviewed Dr. Wynne Thorne, Vice President of Research at Utah State University, about the $600,000 Rockefeller grant. The grant was set up by Rockefeller Foundation to uh, let uh, Utah State University de develop a model type of program that could be an example to other institutions throughout the United States as to how everyone can work together with a concern about the environment. They selected only five institutions in the whole United States, and the others were major universities. And they did this after reviewing about the programs at about 50 universities. They selected us because, in their opinion, we were somewhat unique, and we had the most capable faculty and most interested students. They interviewed both groups while they were here, and they thought that this was the place that they could really develop a program that others would seek to emulate. How could the students get involved in the program? The, uh, st we do provide some money for student programs, for faculty, and for programs out into the state. And I think that uh, the unique thing about this is that it doesn't tell anybody what they have to do. It says we shall work together and develop cooperative, interdisciplinary programs, and that which will be concerned with the environment and particularly urban problems, but not limited to that. So the students can present ideas along with the faculty, and they will be considered by our research council. They can be educational, or they can be studies, and we hope there will be some of both. And so I think to have an idea, to want to do something, to be willing to cooperate with other people, that's the secret of how to get at it, and then get your ideas down in writing so somebody can study them. We, have, we are seeking to identify a leader and we will appoint a council, and we will hope to have some students on the council as well as faculty members, and they will make the decisions as to how the money would be spent, what is the best thing to put the uh, investments in. Construction is being completed on the new Vet Science Bacteriology Building on campus. There are 13 individual research units, each consisting of one large workroom, a smaller room for working with certain chemicals and infectious items that is fitted with a hood and other auxiliary room which may be used as an office for graduate assistants. The basement and main floor of the new building will house the research units. The building includes two classrooms and four teaching laboratories. A lab and part of the equipment necessary for electron microscopy are in place. A special interest in the new building complex is a separate animal care center. Dr. Porter of the Language Department was recently interviewed by Campus Newsreel about spring quarter in Mexico. Dr. Porter will be advisor to students while in Mexico. Well, any student in good standing at the university or at any other university who, who wants to matriculate at Utah State for this spring quarter and who has the money to go is eligible. Anyone who has the recommendation or the permission of his uh, advisor, parents if necessary if they're minors, and uh, wants to go. Glad to have them. Well, the University of the Americas uh, is a, a member of the uh, uh, Western Association of Universities and has a, a full curriculum. Classes, except for the language classes, are taught in English. So although we would like to have a good number of Spanish students, uh, Spanish is not a requirement. Well, students. Uh, can come to the Department of Languages and see me or the secretary in the department, Mrs. Erickson, and uh, get all the information on the uh, program. Uh, this started out as a program for language students only, but it has been expanded to include anyone uh, across campus, and we're hap we'd be happy to have uh, representatives of any department. Uh, the extracurricular activities, of course, depend somewhat on their uh, main interests. I've found that uh, not all 
students at USU and in Mexico are interested only in museums, art galleries, and other cultural uh, events, of which there are a great many. Mostly the extracurricular activities, I, I would think, uh, revolve around travel. Uh, there's a great deal to see in Mexico. For some, this means uh, going to many of the smaller places, the more exotic uh, villages. Uh, to a great many, of course, it means a, a bi-weekly trip to Acapulco. <laughs> The basement of the new Maser Lab is the office and workroom of Adrian Blau, glass blower. Mr. Blau, with a BS in chemistry, has been working for the chemistry department at Utah State, making the glassware used in the labs and doing the necessary repairs on the glassware. Mr. Blau says that he learned the art by trial and error. Mm-hmm. 